I have the frame mounted nose down and squared up for milling the inside of the bearing caps. I'm using a simple G-code process here that uh, just goes around in a square. I set it to the corner of the square, remember the two positions, start the feed, and then it just goes around the four corners in a simple process there with rapids on the sides and stops. That lets me then nudge it over and do it again until I get to the right dimension. So I'm just cleaning these up the minimum amount needed to make the bearing cap and the casting both have uh, machine surfaces. Uh, it takes a few passes to get there. For safety I always power off the switch so the CNC can't accidentally turn it on when I'm sticking my finger in places it, it shouldn't be. And I take a final finishing pass there. And then check the dimension with the, the gauge here. Where it's not a critical dimension, we will machine the crank shaft to fit. While we're nose down and tails up, I'm going to put the four clearance holes for the mounting screws in. Uh, this should be the last time I have to have the part in this position. This is not a tutorial, this is just my build diary and I am an incompetent amateur. However, if you are enjoying this series, there is a playlist for it and you can subscribe to the channel or just click the like button. Whatever you do, I also appreciate your comments and uh, thank you for watching. That's a number 44 drill with clearance for a 256 screw. Back to the horizontal mount, centering up on the collet block and then for length, now we want the zero on where the crankshaft is going to go. So I'm going to use the flat that's sticking out on the bearing cap that we haven't machined off yet to get that dimension. Using a half inch end mill at 900 RPM to do the facing. And this is actually the same G code as before. It's because it's just doing a horizontal pass and moving over in another pass in a rectangle about zero. And flip it over and repeat on the other side. Musical interlude. I have been getting some feedback about the music. I'm going to try and keep it down. I'm going to keep it because some like it, some don't, and I like it. But I'll try and not make it too intrusive. If you ask me questions in the comments, I'll answer questions instead of playing music during these parts where there is no sound. I don't like having no sound, so I don't get any sound if I speed things up fast enough for them not to be tedious. So. You can either have me rambling like this, or music, or I will answer your questions in the comments below. And now the scary stuff where I can completely destroy the entire kit starts. Drilling the crankshaft. So I do have a bolt running through the middle here, so I'm going to spot this on both sides and drill on both sides and then read them all the way through. There will be no boring in this video, but we'll have a good remake. This reamer has been used once to make an aerial inlet valve guide. Or, yeah, inlet. Can't find the old valve, because so, uh, I was going to use it as a gauge, but it's long gone because it's been mm, 20 years since I made those valve guides. 
so it's now been used twice. And hopefully this will work out okay. We're going as slow as the mill will go and manually feeding with the MPG. I'm going to buy some better deburring tools before I deburr this and some little files to make it look all even. But the hole is nice and straight by the look of it, so that will do good. <laughs> 